This step can be challenging. You might want to use clips to hold the flaps while tucking in the other flaps. Reshape the model if needed. Tuck each flap into a pocket next to it. You notice in this model the inside of the flap is pink. Work your way around the model. Tuck in as far as you can. Reshape when you're finished. This completes the 16-sided polyhedra with flippy faces. All that needs to be done is to test your flips. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. I'm going to repeat the tucking process using clips this time. Here are our flaps. You take a clip and clip it to each of the flaps. I've got three of the flaps clipped now. Now I can, it's much more easy to find the pocket and insert the flap. You remove a clip from another flap and put it on the one that you've just inserted. Go over the next pocket to the insertion. Move a clip over to an insertion. Move a clip over to the final insertion. Move all the clips. There is your flippy faced polyhedra. 16 faces, 8 flips. We are now going to take 
are flippy faced polyhedra with 16 sides and 8 flips and change it into a cube. We turn it over to the side where the flaps are inserted. We open up the model back to the house shape. We take one edge of the house and we reverse it into the model. Push the paper into the model and bring the sides together. You can then shape it into a cube. We're not quite done yet. We have an additional face that we can get rid of. We undo the squash fold. We open it up from the bottom and reverse the squash fold into the model and shape it back into a cube. We can now go back and reinsert our tabs. Here I am reinserting the final flap. We now have cube shape. You may need to reshape your model a little bit. and all six sides of the cube can flip.